Welcome back. We are back here, right back here on this couch, my big comfy couch here at Cena's Dolls. Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to the big comfy couch. Yes, I hope you all are doing well. Um, who you all see in the camera view is baby Eli. Yes, this is my little Eli. So adorable. But before we get started on him. Go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And of course, share this video, hit the notification bell and so forth and so forth. All right. All right, you guys. So welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome to Cena's Dolls. I am an adult doll collector. This is my channel. It's a doll channel. Welcome, welcome. If you're into dolls. You're more than welcome to stick around, subscribe. I like the video, but if you're not, and you're here to troll, you could get on, you could keep it moving because I'm letting you know I have zero tolerance, tolerance, excuse me, for trolls. But I would like to thank my day ones because if it wasn't for you, we would not be here. And I would like to thank the ones in the middle and in between because you guys go hard for Cedar's dolls. Yes. And if you guys can notice, I am, I'm hyper. I'm like hyper today and excited because we have another dolly meetup on tomorrow yes it's gonna be so fun so fun and yes i will be taking footage and sharing with you all okay my youtube besties okay so you all let's get started on this video because i had some requests that i'm going to try to feel okay and i got some other requests that i, I had to make it up to you i had to make it up to you but anywho, I shared this beautiful baby on um, a short. This is baby Eli. Look how adorable he is. Let me bring him close. Let me bring him close. He looks so realistic, hyper-realistic, actually. He is one of my top beautiful painted dolls. He was actually a custom a few years back. He is the worn sculpt by uh, Laurel Two Zero Walls. Look at a little something on his eye. But yes, let me get him undressed because he all bundled up. Now, um, I'm not going to say who his artist is. If you recognize her work and is a huge fan of hers, then you already know who she is. And plus, you guys could go check out some of my earlier videos. He I actually, did I have a box opening for him? I don't know if I had him before I started my channel or after I started my channel. I might have had him after i started um but i did um show him a lot in my earlier videos so you would be able to see him but the reason why i'm not saying this artist's name because i do not support her whatsoever anymore and that's because she threw the relationship down the drain when she <laughs> signed up to be the conductor of the division train during the um whole incident with the, the doll show how they discriminated and everything she was the conductor of the division train telling people to, that they had to pick a side and the one and stuff about you can't worship two gods and you know just went really wacko on myself and a lot of her other customers um if they had anything to do with um replicas or had friends or whatever a lot of people did lose friendships over her being the conductor of the division train there's a lot of people that i don't even associate with today because she made them choose a side and those are her exact words choose a side so you guys will never hear me say her name or her channel name anything like that on my channel that does not take away from the talent, the beautiful work that she's done and that she still is doing, I guess. I don't even watch her. But um, I do have other pieces of works of art of her in my nursery that is here to stay. I'm going to say that because they don't have nothing to do with the doll. They don't have nothing to do with the baby, okay? 
situation, if you don't like your baby's father, you still going to love the child, okay? So, just saying. So, this is, again, baby Eli, and he is so adorable. Let me take his little hat off so you guys can see he's a baldy. And I'm going to keep him bald because he, um... He just looks so cute, bald. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Such a sweet, sweetie, sweetie pie. So, that's going to bring me to my next doll because I had a request for a changing video on this next doll. So, when the the artist went ham on us collectors and threw the money on the floor, China picked it up. China picked it up. So, as you guys know, I recently started collecting replicas at first i was all an authentic collector and that's because that's just what i like you know um it didn't have nothing to do with it not being authentic or whatever for me not collecting the replicas but recently i started because they've been getting better and better with the replicas i said wait a minute let me see let me see and you guys this cutie patootie that i'm about to show you next is too cute <laughs> is two carrots so i'm gonna bring him on for a changing and everything so you guys can see him it might be a speed video because it is the morning and i have to go to work so you guys say bye bye to baby eli say bye bye i love you aunties and uncles and family a united a dolly a family Mwah. kissy poo all right here he is so cute this is baby Meech. Baby Meech. Last time I showed him, I mispronounced his name, but it's baby Meech. Look at his little chubby self. He is the blue sparrow. That's what he is. His sculpt is the blue sparrow. And um, the sculptor is Doris something Myers. <laughs> you guys can look it up. You guys can look it up. You guys know I'll be knowing all these names and things and i don't know i can barely remember what i named them yes yes so he looks so cute in this outfit i don't want to take him out of it but i did get a change in video because people want to see how he's made so this is the doll that i got off of off of ali express and um i'm gonna take him off these little shoes he is so cute i enjoy having him in my collection and since i had him there are a few other dolly says that um ordered him and they are loving the baby i have my um well i'm not gonna say who she is because she hasn't shared shared her baby on her channel purchased this one it made it a girl and i was like girl i'm gonna date a girl because I'm, i was just seeing boy but she made her girl look so adorable so so adorable so let me take uh, this outfit off a really quick, really quick here. A baby beachy look. <laughs>on this doe suede body he has these full arms and his his painting it feels um textured to me like varnished i meant not textured but varnished um he does he does not have any shiny spots he does not um let me guys let me let me take off his socks so you guys can see his his that feet look at him this is his feet. He has tipped nails and gloss nails. So, he don't have any, like, you know, details, details as far as, like, in the painting. But the sculpting, um, they copied the sculpting, like, really, really nice. He has blushing on his knees. But these are great dolls to, like, doctor up on, on some paint or whatever. Some of you guys do doctor up on them and make them really, really cute. And then here... Um, you guys, he, you could add lashes because he didn't come with any lashes.
but that's okay because he was only like $35 and I am enjoying him like I spent hundreds of dollars, maybe even more because if something was happened to him, he's easily replace, replaceable and he's just a fun doll to have fun with. Like these AliExpress dolls, they're just a fun doll to to show and, and play with or whatever. And he had great hair. I was even able to put cornrows in his hair, but I'm taking these out. I wanted to see if I could cornrow his hair and it, I did. Um, and it came out really nice, I think, but I wanted, I, I love him and his Afro. That Afro was just banging. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all when I'm putting him on. I'm putting him on this plaid turquoise blue, got a little peach in it shirt short sleeve is a short sleeve it has a little bow tie because him is so cute and adorable so we got to keep him looking damper okay we got to keep him damper because my little man's he be manning my little man's be manning he does okay because that's that's just what he do <laughs> that's just what he does so um yes i am enjoying my new collections because you guys already know i'll be having collections inside of a collection and these dolls are so much fun but the funnest part is that i'm playing dolls with my dolly sis because they're you know showing theirs and they've been showing their babies i've been seeing people showing their um manufactured dolls from like aliexpress and amazon and things like that and they were looking cuter and cuter and cuter. Like, China not playing with y'all. The money y'all throwing on the ground, they picking it up. And that's just facts. And I'm enjoying all the money that I'm saving. I am so doing so much, so much other stuff with my money. And, um, and still enjoying the hobby. And that's just facts. Point of a line and period. And I'm, I don't have to deal with... A lot of these unprofessional artists, and a lot of them, not to say all, I said a lot, are unprofessional, and a lot of them try to get away with a lot of stuff. I just had a bad experience with the artist that I've done business with so many times, promoted her work right here on this channel, and she just threw that down the drain. Um, which is very unfortunate because I would never be saying her name on my channel um, no more either because her business practices and how she did me was not okay. Was not okay at all. Um, and if that's how she's doing business, other people will see that. And yeah, she will definitely put herself out of business soon. But I'm gonna let her do that to herself. So his bow tie, which is turquoise, matches his cute little shorts. I like it looking very closer. So I'm gonna put him back on these shoes. Everybody's been asking me about these cute little shoes. These are Bud Kids. Bud Kids is the name that's in the inside. They're all leather, hard bottoms, made in Mexico. Look at that, made in Mexico. These are some cute shoes. My dolly sis, Claudio, Claudio O'Neill, she um, gifted me these in a box opening from a, a cute little baby I got um, that I bought from her. And yes, I put this on all of my bigger dolls. I love these shoes. And look how adorable he looks. Yes. All right, here he is with his cute little outfit. Look out, how adorable he looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these braids and um, go ahead and um, I'll work on his afro so you guys can <laughs> Bigger because it got stretched his hair got 
stretched out and when I um put it in braids so it was kind of pulled so he has water on him but it made his afro even bigger look at it like he like he out here with the fro for real like so adorable I love it I'm gonna take some pictures of him um a little later on I'm about to start working but you all I want you guys to go over and check out kitty at little waddle nursery check out one of her latest videos she is not out here playing with none of these bullies trying to out people she she not playing and we not playing okay we're not we're not playing that so what i'm going to do if i remember hopefully i remember is link that video in the description of the video so you guys could go check out the video get educated information Knowledge is power. Knowledge is power, okay? And she has a lot of knowledge. She is a very experienced veteran dog collector. She knows what she's talking about. That's point blank and period. Because some of y'all better chill out. And again, the money that a lot of these artists are dropping on the ground, China is picking it up. And that's just factual, okay? facts look how adorable hey yes he is baby meet you baby meet you yes with him cute little afro look at him look at his outfit let me show y'all real quick look at him and he's he's a nice size he wears three months and i waited him he came unassembled i waited him to my likings and i just love him to pieces i do i really really i really really do now um also, I wanted to say that I definitely appreciate the sculpting, the sculpting of the dolls. Nobody's taking nothing away from the sculptor. Nobody's taking nothing away from the artistry, the beautiful art that um, a lot of the artists create. What I'm speaking on, a lot of us speaking on is this is our money, our choice. And who is going to continue to give you our money when you are using and abusing it? A lot of us been through a lot of financial abuse and emotional abuse in this hobby from these so-called artists who wants to control everything. Wants to control everything. This is a control factor and you can't do that. You can't do that. If you have a business, run it as such. Be business minded. Are you going to continue to lose customers to China? And it's happening every day. Look at this. Look at it. Now, I do still buy authentic and I am still am going to buy it. I mean, the last, but the last custom I did in the doll, it's, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. That's all I got to say. But I'm not going to give up. I'm actually going to start trying to paint myself. Because why pay somebody to do something that you could probably start getting into and do? Because nobody is born knowing how to reborn. Everybody at some point had to go through the learning process. And some of you need to go back through the learning process and, and, and perfect your skills because something is totally off. Anywho, I'm not going to get into that rant. Okay, I'm not going to get into that rant. I have to go to work. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. I'm so excited for the meetup. You guys stay tuned because we're going to have some, um, definitely some footage from the meetup um, on tomorrow. And you guys, you're about to get some information shortly sometime this month pertaining to the annual Dolly United meetup that's going down next year. Yes, if you missed it this year, you will not, not going to want to miss it next year. All right, you all. So this is the end of the video. And as always, you all stay blessed because you are. Be safe out there and we will be back for another video.